Hello everyone, it's System, and this is Astroblock. Hope everyone is well, having a busy day. I myself, well, I'm having a pretty fantastic one. So let's get back to this pack here and uh, check out what I've done. What I've done <laughs> is gone done. I gone done and moved to the Earth, so we live on the Earth now. Now, there's a couple issues with that. One of that is acid rain. And uh, the acid rain actually poisons you, and yeah, it kills you pretty quickly, I have to say. And uh, is pretty damaging. Uh, one way around that, and I realized that after I moved my base, would have been to move to the desert where there is no rain. But uh, yeah, if you want to be a little more safe, building the desert would probably be a little better. I also wanted to move into a structure. So I found this cool structure. You might notice there it has this like double serpent head statue, uh, simple thing on the top, which I thought was pretty neat. And some nice areas for farms. They weren't farms originally. I just kind of added those. But uh, we live here, man. So down here, we've got a big giant door, <laughs> which is pretty neat. Uh, we need to eat here. Oh, not yet. It'll be in a second. But uh, I dug it out. You know, on the inside here, there was a whole lot of tunnels. There was this, like, weird slanty area that I had to dig through. Uh, there were mobs all around and stuff like that. And I just dug it out with my bore, lit it all up. Um, but use the arc lamps. These things are great. I didn't realize how far they cast light. Apparently, it's like 20 blocks or something like that. It's really far. So they made lighting up this place uh, pretty easy. But uh, I really like this area. I think it's pretty cool. So I totally dug it out. I redid all our setups. Uh, it only took me about three trips from the asteroids to, you know, get back here and get all my stuff here. Mostly because we have those shulker box, uh, boxes. So that made things a lot easier. Over here, I automated water too really quickly. So I just went ahead and pulled the leaves out of the setup that's doing charcoal into here and uh, into this tank. So this automatically makes me water. I think that's the only new thing I did. Anyway, let's put our jetpack back on. I only did that with the jetpack too because it's really hard to kind of jump up just one block. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Of course, I do it twice in a row right there. And uh, then I added a whole lot of these display screens. These are just from uh, Galacticraft. We found those in the structures. But uh, depending on which planet you're on, they have a whole lot of presets. So I have it set to the map there on this. That one's the solar system. And that one's just what's around Earth. It doesn't show the moon yet because we haven't found it. So, yeah, that's something we have to do. There's actually a quest for that. I've never had to use research papers to find planets before. So that is going to be something we're going to have to do there. I also want to show you uh, some other issues here with Earth, because it, it, you might be better off living on the asteroids or not. It really depends on which route you want to take. But basically, the lost cities over here, um, I was going to live in one of these. I was going to come in and just live in one of these buildings and be really lazy. <laughs> but uh, it uh, it's invaded. So I'm going to kind of show you what that means. I need to go to one I haven't been to yet, because I don't think it will say it's invaded again. But basically invaded means there's going to be mobs that spawn in there um, outside of regular mobs. There just doesn't even matter about the light level or anything. And um, they'll attack you, right? So this building has been invaded. Be careful. And that basically means there's mobs in there right now. And they're mad scientists and androids, uh, which is part of the story, right? Let's see if we can see any here. But um, they're really beefy. Well, especially the mad scientists. The mad scientists are super beefy. And they'll mess you up. <laughs> and I don't want to deal with them. And a lot of them are, like, uh, enchanted in some way. So they have, like, named mobs. And it wasn't fun. I was, I was clearing out a building. And I was just like, this this isn't fun. I had to fight these bad scientists with about 200 hit points. And I, I didn't really want to mess around. We will have to mess around with these buildings a little bit. But, uh, yeah, pretty crazy. I kind of wanted to show you a mad scientist because they are pretty nasty, actually. Maybe if I go to the top of this one, because I did fight some. You can see a creeper blew up here earlier, um, I guess yesterday. But anyway, it took me about two hours to do all the moving. Oh, there's another big structure. There's big structures everywhere. There's really cool ones, actually. There's our base. It looks awesome. But um, yeah, the, the, it's just a cool dimension. I really enjoy this earth. It's actually pretty neato. I'm not seeing any mobs at all. It's going to make a liar of me. But uh, we will see them at some point, I suppose. <laughs> we don't have to see them right now. The the mad scientists are pretty creepy and uh, pretty big. But um, I guess we'll see one. Oh, maybe we see one now. You here? Are you here? You here? No, nothing, man. They're on one of the floors, but uh, it is uh, pretty tall. But anyway, let's let's break out of this. And uh, the only other thing is uh, there's mobs from another mod, and I forget what it's called. It's like Dino Creepers and something else. Let's get to. Uh, I have it kind of pulled up here. Um, this mod here. Laser Creeper Robot Dino Riders from Space. And basically there's giant um, like robot dinosaurs that are made of metal that you have to fight. There's also uh, flying spiders that shoot rockets. Yep, that's a thing. And there's also creepers that have like rockets on their side, I think. 
and uh, you'll have to fight them too. And as the days progress, I believe the waves get kind of, well, I think they get a little stronger, right? Or is it, I think at first you only see like certain mods. I have I, already seen the flying, um, was it the flying spiders? I've already seen them. So however many days, I just remember invasion. It was like a time-based thing on day one. You didn't see them all. There's also a drones mod and I haven't seen the drone yet. Um, the drone mod, um, little drones that fly around, but they shoot saws, and I believe depending on the day, they can break blocks or explode. Now, we'll probably have to deal with them at some point. But, um, this is our new life, man. We live on the Earth, we got a cool little base, nice little setup, and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and progress, so let's get to that. And okay, the first thing we're gonna work on here is going to be a new inventory system. So we're gonna go ahead and get one done here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Just stuff I know we're gonna need. We're gonna run out. I did go ahead and make quartz. Quartz is super easy, actually. Just uh, the soul sand. So you did that this way here, and then just sand, and then bam, you get whole blocks of quartz. So it adds up real quick. And I've also been grinding some down over here. That's probably not enough. I'll have to come back and uh, grab some more here in a bit. But basically this is an inventory system, really easy, super simple. It's called simple storage for a reason, right? But uh, we need to go ahead and make these things here. So we need to make some of the cables. Uh, I probably won't even use processing cables to be honest, but we need, the main thing I guess is the storage network master, uh, the storage request table. And I believe these, the storage exports, no. Storage link cables. These are the other ones that are really important. So we're gonna go ahead and start working on those, I guess. So let's go ahead and uh, make what we can make here. We need to make some quartz fiber. We probably need some glass. That's actually a AE2 item, <laughs> which we'll probably need later in the pack. But anyway, let's go grab some glass here. There we go. Go ahead and grab some quartz fiber, whatever it'll give us for now. And then grab some of those, because uh, we need them as well. 48 might be enough. I don't know if that'll be enough or not. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, drop off that steel. I needed a bunch more plates, but anyway. Next thing we need are the storage cables. So of course, uh, we're gonna need some pistons here. I don't think I have any wood right now, <laughs> actually anywhere useful because I moved everything around. So let's do that. Uh, we'll need some cobblestone, which is in one of these. It's gonna be nice once we're done here, <laughs> we don't have to worry about all these chests anymore. We'll be able to access it all without really having to think about it anymore. And that's kind of the entire plan. Uh, iron and redstone. Let's grab some iron. There's some redstone. And then iron. That's cool. Sweet. Let me get this going here. So I'm working on the export cable. These are cables used for exporting. I don't know if we're going to be using them, but uh, we may. My main thing is just having an inventory system right now. So that's a thing. I didn't make the right cables in the order anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, let's go ahead and grab a chest here. We'll get these storage link cables. These are the ones we need the most of, actually. So maybe we'll do that there. Probably eight right now would be okay on the storage links. Now that I think of it, let's start with eight. Then we're going to need the storage import cables. So we're gonna need some hoppers. I probably have some already crafted because, uh, yeah, I've been using a bunch of those. There we go. Go ahead and uh, grab a import cable, of course, for importing into the system. Last one's gonna be this processing one. We're gonna need a piece of quartz here. Uh, quartz, I can probably get it from over here, right? <laughs> Can't remember if I still have stuff processing or not. Still had steel, we're good there. Where did I put my quartz in a fit? Cause I was just trying to do stuff. I can't remember. Now there it is right there, sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the processing, hopefully. Let's grab an observer, grab the processing. We just need one uh, gold. I think I threw away the little bit of nuggets I had. I had like five of them when I was moving. I was just like, nope, not moving nuggets. <laughs> anyway, let's do that there. And that's all the cables. So the next part of it's probably going to be the storage network master and request table. So the network master is gonna take heavy duty plates, which is gonna take meteoric iron. We happen to have that stuff. So let's grab you. Let's grab you. There we go. All the meteoric iron that I have gotten in this pack has been via meteors. So yeah, I'm gonna be probably keep going back to space. I was never lucky and found an asteroid that was filled with a giant node of it. So I'm a little limited on my meteoric iron. So we'll do that. Go ahead and grab you. And I think we also, I saw we needed a wafer, uh, not a wafer, one of those circuits, right? So it's going to be the gold one. So we'll need a redstone. Uh, we'll also need a repeater, right? So we'll have to do that. What else do I need here? That, that, two silicon. That's the way they work. Let's just look at it. Oh, a diamond is the other one. Let's go ahead and see if we can find one of those. We obviously have diamonds. 
and then the repeater itself. So we'll need a redstone torch, so probably two sticks. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's see. I think it's in this one. No, it's in this one right here. Go ahead and grab the repeater. There we go. Go ahead and see if we can actually make the repeater. <laughs> Then actually go make the repeater. Then we should have, I think, everything. I know I keep saying that, but at the same time, it's all these little bits and bobs that need to be made. Drop a redstone there, two silicon, repeater, and a diamond. Now this machine, I wish there was a way to speed up the um, Galactograph machines. That's one of their downfalls. I haven't found any way of speeding these ones up. There are some machines, like there's upgraded versions, like the fuel loader. I think there's like three or four levels of it. But uh, I don't think there is for the circuit fabricator. Anyway, that should be good there. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually make this puppy here. There's our network master. Then I guess we just need the storage request. So let's go ahead and grab you. And grab, what do we need? Oh, more gold. <laughs> just when you're so close. Anyway, let's grab that. That and storage request table. Now this system is super easy and that's why it's called simple storage. It is just a super simple set up here. Let's go ahead and grab you, that there. That should be fine. Won't look very neat, but uh, for an early system, this is all that matters. We're gonna connect these uh, storage link cables uh, to all these different storages. I'm gonna have to move that one. It's trying to connect to that. I want to connect to the double chest first. Do I have any wood chippings? Yeah, there we go. Make ourselves a cardboard box. These uh, tritanium chests are a little odd. So if you go to try to break them, you'll notice that, yeah, not happening. I think you need a tool from the mod, <laughs> which is a really odd way of doing it, but uh, we can move them with the cardboard boxes. You just kind of do that there. I think you just break them, right? And then we can find a spot for it. So maybe somewhere like right here for now. And you just shift right click, takes it out. And then, oh, didn't need to do that. <laughs> Did all my stuff's in there. So that's what we're gonna do there. Probably make a couple more spots for uh, chest, actually. Let's move this again. Let's do that. Uh, we don't have a lot of storage. I mean, these chests are pretty full, right? So I want to have a couple more chests here, I think. Maybe something like that there. Something like that there. We could just drop a couple chests down there. And we'll probably need uh, a little more wood. So let's do you. Grab that. We could use it as a crafting table, even though it has no storage yet. <laughs> right now, it doesn't do much, but well, it will in a couple seconds here. Oh, we had a couple chests on you, on you, on me, because uh, I'll probably add a little more storage here, but I want to have uh, enough for today. So let's do that, do that there, and then we can probably connect to those ones relatively easy, I think. Is it connected to the right ones? Yes, it must see that the chests are actually connected, which is uh, a bonus. Anyway, let's go here and here and here, and we should just have to connect that cable to the uh, network master. And now if I go out of it, it's going to see everything that's in the system. So if I want uh, oak. There we go, bam, done. So yeah, super easy little system there. And um, we'll just make it so we can access all our all our storage basically in one single area, unless I have to go somewhere else and grab something. I don't have to move around as much, right? So that is awesome. So yeah, you can also change settings on this too. So I could say only this stuff could be stored in this chest. Uh, you could use a drawer system or something like that, like that as well. But uh, it has all the settings you could need. You could use input or output or output only, stuff like that. So the settings are there for a nice little system if you want to make it more complicated, but you just want to keep it super simple. This is awesome as well. So yeah, we got uh, we got a storage system, man. We don't have to worry about uh, <laughs> hunting down materials as much, just processing. So that is pretty cool. So the next thing we're going to work on here is going to be, we've got a lot of quests. Let's go ahead and accept them. <laughs> Holy bully. But uh, we're going to work on digital miner. I just want to see what we're getting here. Metal block book? Metal book. Enchanting power one. There's another piece of that really big armor. I think we can make that armor on this planet, actually. Fried fish. Another shulker box. I like those. Sun pet. What's that one do? Rents nearby mob spawns. Sends mobs into fiery orbit. Gold igots. Oh, I may have to try that one out. He's a legendary. Check that out. Bonsai. Heavy oxygen tank. More titanium chests. That's actually good. I can hook, this, hook the uh, titaniums up to the network. They're pretty good compact storage. But one of the things we're actually going to go for right now, what is an affected torch? But uh, is going to be double XP. A lot of good ones here, actually. Um, we're going to go and work on. Let, 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 let's just drop off this stuff because this stuff's got to be totally distracted because <laughs> we get some weird stuff there. But uh, we need to go get some tritanium. And we can only get that from mining. So, yeah, we need to go do that. It is kind of important. It's going to make it so we can get to our digital miner, which is going to automate mining for us, basically, and uh, pull ores out of the ground. 
I believe I have fish here. I want to make sure we can see in the dark because uh, that'd be kind of nice. But, uh, we do need to go mining, so that is a thing. Let's drop you off, too. These chests are going to get messed up anyway. Oh, gold chests, too. Sweet. Anyway, let's head out this way. We need to find a little place to mine. I don't want to mine, like, directly under our base because that always just causes bob spawns, right? And uh, I don't feel like lighting things up because I'm lazy. But anyway, let's go down here. Maybe over to this little mountain over here would probably be a good idea. Because uh, it's a little ways away, but not super far. Um, all the ores in the ground, I totally forgot I took off my jetpack, have been changed. <laughs> so, um, not ores, I should say materials. So over here, I noticed that there was slate instead of like cobblestone. I see an ore up there too, but it's not going to be the tritanium. I'm not sure what Y level the tritanium's on, but uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. Anyway, let's just start digging down here maybe. And then we get down here. Uh, we should be able to get down pretty quick. That's why I'm kind of doing it with you. Uh, I also need to do this. I always usually do this anyway. Go get that. Oh, no, we can't tell if there's lava below us. I thought we might be able to see. Actually, we did. We saw it was a black spot. So there shouldn't be any lava uh, directly under us. Uh, I just looked at the map there. Good way to kind of scam and check and see <laughs> exactly where the materials are. You know what I mean? The lava, lava so you don't uh, dig into a lava pool. I figured Tritanium would be pretty low, right? So let's go to probably around this area. Let's go to about Y30. That looks good. Then we're going to go ahead and use our scanner. Might as well, because why not? And uh, we get ores all around us, so that is a good sign. Let's uh, switch this to 3x3 three three and start just uh, digging in a direction, I guess. Uh, do I have this thing turned on? Looks like I do. So yeah, I'm just going to dig in an area, dig out, look for materials. What is that there, granite? <laughs> It looks a weird color. That mine extrapolation changes everything. And it's weird. We got cold stone. I thought it was slate over here. I found slate in one spot. This is cold stone. It has all kinds of like uh, oil. Um, like custom blocks from the mod that just changes everything. And it, which gives you, of course... Um, um, am I out? Holy moly, I thought I was going to die. Uh, <laughs> it's totally dark down there. I guess it is oil. But... Um, yeah, it gives you more building blocks, right, to play with. I was going to use uh, these blocks kind of in my base, but then I decided not to. Do we have anything near us yet? Like, super close? Looks like we got something, like, right over here. There we go. Gets a little confusing when there's so much, too, I have to say. That's a big something. Let's see what we found here. Probably go ahead and do a lot of this myself, just kind of showing you how I'm going to be doing it. Whoa. Oh, I thought it was a mob. Scared the junk out of me. What is that? What is that stuff? Mordite? What are we even using this for? It looks like just weapons and stuff, right? Mordite plating. Can we make armor out of it? An hour? Well, what was it? <laughs> what did we just find? Murodite. Muro. M E U R. Murodite. There's a set of armor. It's not too bad. Our set of armor is actually really good. It has like 40 points. You can see it there right above my sword. But uh, hopefully, there's not too many junk ores like that because uh, we really don't need that stuff. I just want. Uh, what I want, <laughs> right? I just want the, uh, what, what material am I looking for? Titanium. Oh, we got some copper. So yeah, we got we got our materials. And apparently that is a uh, task too. Why is that so spammy? Oh, cause there's so many different varieties that you can have. Uh, a lot easier too doing this with the, um, what should we call it? The flux capacitor. Makes it so I don't have to go back as much. So I'm probably gonna do this for a bit. We'll see if we can find us some titanium. And uh, once I do, we'll go ahead and push forward. And okay, I'm already back from mining. I've already processed, uh, I guess, seven titanium. I got that done. I forgot my jetpack too, so I had a hard time getting out of the hole because I had the pillar up because I'm a derp. But uh, I didn't have to go very long. I only took about five minutes uh, after I stopped recording, so that is pretty cool. But uh, we need to go ahead and make these titanium plates, so we're going to do that right away. And, uh, we're going to work on our um, digital miner. That's what we're doing, right? Let's go to uh, duty. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I giggled. Let's go ahead and drop that off. Let's go grab some meteoric plates because uh, we need to make some plates here. I apparently have to make some more. How many do I make? You get four per, right? So yeah, that adds up. That should be good. Let's go ahead and get that process really quickly. So let's just uh, do that there because you get two plates per piece of meteoric iron. All my iron I've gotten so far, the meteoric, has been from the asteroid dimension. So yeah, I never found an actual you know good source of it because it's, you're supposed to be able to find meteors full of it, but I did not. We're also going to need our actual Astro Miner. Let's do that. Astro Miner. Oh, why am I typing down there? Astro, go ahead and grab that. 
And uh, what else we need here? Different cables. So Galactic Raft, it doesn't like RF production, like normal, you know what I mean? So Flux Dux will not connect to it. So I'm gonna have to use the different cabling. So we're gonna do that. And uh, I'm pretty sure Mechanism doesn't like aluminum cables. We'll test that, but I'm pretty sure Mechanism doesn't like the aluminum cables from Galactic Raft. So you have these weird kind of interactions, right? What we're gonna do is make the, uh, what's it, basic cables, the uh, basic user universals, basic un, these ones right here. So we just need uh, some steel and that jazz. I keep trying to go to my chest. I need to stop doing that. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some of them. Pretty sure these cables can handle any kind of power, which is what we're kind of going for here. And uh, we just need to kind of patch it to that power too. So that should be too hard, but we'll get it done. I need to get my sound muffler set up again too, because uh, those dings, <laughs> they're a thing, man. Let's go ahead and grab the digital miner. We have this right here. And we're just gonna set up the first time right here, just so we have access to everything we need. So this is what it is, it's a big three by two. So it's pretty pretty fancy, <laughs> big multi-block. Uh, the power, oops, I never showed these either. These are little side rooms that I did not mean to just go up this elevator. I mean, so derpy today, I feel so derpy. But uh, yeah, these were part of the area. I haven't fixed them yet. Uh, they had some chests here, but they had total junk in it. I just threw my little um, NASA workbench over there. But anyway, let's do that. Also, these are elevators. We get those as rewards. I never actually used any yet, but uh, you can just kind of jump and shift on them, crouch, I guess, and uh, get connected to them really easy. I have to break that redstone wire for right now. I'm pretty sure these can pull, right? That might be an issue. I'm a little scared about that. <laughs> actually, before we do this, let's do this. I know I'll be a little derpy, but I'm almost positive these aluminum wires don't work. So let's, uh, let's make sure they don't work first. So let's grab some aluminum wires and let's do like here here and here yeah because these ones technically work in jewels which is weird because mechanism works in jewels too but you see they don't connect so that is a problem so not gonna do that and i know flux doesn't work on it because that happened to be in another pack it doesn't work with the galactic craft machines so i know that's an issue as well but uh, i know these ones work with pretty much everything so let's try it out <laughs> although having them connected to other mods wires might not be that great anyway this is fully charged but we'll see when it starts running uh, my flux capacitor might have charged it so that is something anyway let's go and you'll notice the interface here let's kind of go over the interface we want to config it so we're going to go config we want to set the radius the max radius is going to be 32 so it's going to do like 32 blocks around it uh where it kind of decides where it's going to do its mining area we're also going to want to turn on auto jet because that's a good thing to have on Everything else is fine. And then we're on to go to config again. The min height is zero, max is 60. What Y level are we at? We're at 72, 60 should be good. We'll just leave it at 60. And then we'll go to new filter, go to or dict, and there we go. We're gonna go to or, and we're gonna type uh, asterisk. Then we're just gonna save that. And what that does, it just tells the uh, digital miner, it can mine nothing but something that has the word or in it, right? And there should be anything down there that isn't an ore. So that should be fine. So anyway, we'll do that. And that should be good. And if I click start now, it found 3,183 ores. And uh, is it actually getting anything? Yeah, it's getting that weird muradite. It's gonna get a whole lot of stuff and I may blacklist some of them. But uh, for right now, that's fine. But uh, to output this stuff, we should just have to do this here. It's gonna start going in the chest. And it's gonna take a while, mind you. Hey, hello there. <laughs> but it's going to mine up all 3,178, I guess 77 now, of those ores and deposit them into this inventory and whatever inventory we have in the back here. We may want a bigger inventory, but uh, this is fine for right now. Already found some gold, found some iron. I know there's a quest attached to this. Look at that. Because there's so many different varieties of gold ore from all the different planets and stuff. It just gets all spammy. But um, yeah, that's the digital miner. Super easy to set up, super easy to run, and super powerful. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just gonna take some time, man. Partly because I set the area so big too. I don't know how it mines either. I don't know if it's like from the top down. It's looking like the top down. Although gold is usually a little ways down, so I'm not really sure. Why is it going so slow? It's staying charged too, so that's a good thing. Just making sure it's working here. <laughs> it's like it's mining ores, but not grabbing stuff, and I'm a little concerned. Let's see here. I guess not. I I'd like to see it flash in here. I know I ran into one pack. Oh, it had Astro Sorcery. 
it wouldn't mind the it would mind the uh, rock crystals, but it wouldn't pick up the drops. So that uh, I think I learned later on it was hard coded to do that. Anyway, I'm gonna let this run for a bit, and uh, yeah, we'll come back and uh, see what we get here. Ooh, we got iridium. <laughs> what is that? We'll worry about that later. Okay, I've let this thing run for a few minutes now. It's got me a little tritanium, which is good, but it hasn't got me any silver, and that's what I was kind of hoping for right now. So what we're gonna do instead of what I was planning is go and do a sifting setup automated. So we're gonna do that real quick. I think I have pretty much everything I need on me. So let's go ahead and grab this compressor here because uh, we are gonna need one of those. But I figured we might, well, might as well automate this. And actually while we're doing it, let's do storage as well. Now that I think of it, let's go to um, drawer. We're gonna make a drawer controller here and use it to store the items. I think there's six drops out of it, I think. <laughs> Keyword, uh, not which drawer I want. I want these drawers actually, let's do these ones. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab the um, actual drawer controller. So we're gonna have to go ahead and grab some. Uh, we don't have any sticks. Let's go get sticks. We have tons of sticks. Let's do that. <laughs> get the actual drawer controller here. Make some comparators. Oh, I didn't actually make uh, redstone torches, which uh, is helpful. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, make a good amount of those. Those things pop up all the time. Wait, there we go. Three comparators, because I only needed two. And there we go, drawer controller. So what we're gonna do here, like I said, is automate this. I know this uh, one part of it's a little weird. It's these, it's these. <laughs> the actual machines from uh, Galacticraft, they don't, like they wanna have their items pulled from the bottom, but at the same time, they don't like um, thermal uh, piping. So I'm gonna have to kind of pipe it a little strange, but I, I guess that's fine. We'll do something like that there is what I was thinking. And then we're gonna have to hopper it out into the next machine. So the next machine is gonna be this, the auto compressor. I went ahead and made this. It's basically what's gonna happen. The dust is gonna go from here to here, get compressed into dust, then pop down here and get turned into compressed dust. So that is the plan. So let's get that kind of wired up here. Basic universal cable. And then we can power both machines like, like that. And there we go. Sweet. And uh, we don't really need this connection. Actually, we need both those connections. I just don't like the way it looks. <laughs> I don't like the way you look. Anyway, let's do that uh, and this one out of here because I don't really need it. There we go. And then let's just bring that together here. It'll be better later on when I have better piping. I also need to go through and break all those aluminums and replace those with the uh, universal cables as well because I'm doubled up for no reason down there, but I'll do it on my time. Uh, here, we'll go ahead and grab a hopper. Hopper's gonna go from here to here. That's gonna move the finished product, right? And then we'll just need to grab a item duct, I suppose, and pop that there. Go ahead and use a just a regular servo. I may need a faster servo for the last part of it, but if so, I can go make that. Wait, wait, that should take the sand, pop it in there, right? And then it should get processed and go down here. Let's just see. I don't need this fast, the actual like compressing and stuff, because the machine's gonna get backed up, I think, if we compress sand anyway. I just want to make sure everything's actually moving. Are you, you, is that pointing the wrong way? Wait a sec. Why are these machines so weird? <laughs> Let's try that again. Do that. Let's actually, I guess, break you for a second because I need to get back there. There we go. I, I'm sure Hopper's worked on these. Wait, what? This is a new one. Let's try it with the uh, other thing. Oh, there's no finished product. Well, I'm, I'm waiting for nothing. I want to test to make sure the thermal piping doesn't work because I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So if I did this, then grabbed a one, a one of these, I guess. <laughs> Here we go. Let's actually see if sand comes out. Because my memory, if my memory serves me, it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work, man. I don't know why. It just, Blackcraft really doesn't like thermal. I, that's, that's, it's like a personal issue, I think. Anyway, let's go here, pop that there, and pop that in there. And every time it gets nine, this is gonna go ahead and compress it. So that's what we want there. Then we're gonna go ahead and I guess do the actual setup for this puppy here. I'm gonna steal you for a second as a placement block. There we go, do that. Bring it like right here, I was thinking. Yeah, right there, that works. And then we'll grab the actual heavy uh, sieve. Need to put it sideways so it places forward. Every time you put these down, they get a random skin too. You can use a name tag and then put someone specific in there. I'm just not going to right now. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And 
pop that there. Now we need to move the items from here into there, but also give it power. So power should probably go in the back just to keep it lined up. And I should probably place that as well. And then I guess I can put the items through the side or the bottom. Bottom, side, I'm just deciding here. Bottom's fine. Oh, I forgot to grab that too. My sound muffler, man. <laughs> no more dings. Let's go here. Sound muffler, grab you. And uh, get that back up there. May have to increase the range a bit, but uh, not that big a deal. We'll just put it up there. And then turn it up to like 16. Then no more dings, <laughs> which is what I want. And then we can go back to our wiring here. So yeah, it should be easy to wire from this point. So let's go from here to here. Go ahead and grab a servo. Should work fine on this machine. And that's good. Now, all we have to do now basically is, uh, I guess, wait for it to make sure it's moving. There it goes, it's going. Uh, add our mesh, that'd probably be a good idea. This mesh has a Fortune 2 on it, so it uh, gets a little more drops, which is uh, pretty sweet. It goes up to three, but I just found that on a random book. Um, I can't remember if it was mob or reward. I think it was a reward. There's one to make it go faster too, actually. So it's getting its items, it's processing, that's what we want. The last thing we want to do is set up the whole drawer system. So we're going to set the drawer controller right there. Then set up two of these uh, two by twos. So we'll do one here and then one here. And that'll link them. So anything that gets pumped in here will get moved into the drawers. And that's what we're going for. So let's go ahead and grab some item ducts and uh, something like that. And that probably just uh, one more servo. And uh, let's see if that servo is fast enough because it might not be actually. Oh, this, this may get backed up. Actually, it'll definitely get backed up at some point. Also need a key. Let's grab our key here. Where is my key? Oh, right there. There we go. That's sweet. And I will just use that to lock. Ooh, what do I have wrong here? Oh, I have a bad connection. That's it. Let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, first unlock this, right? Then we're going to have to go ahead and grab a crescent view here and just break this one connection. There we go, that'll handle that. Sweet and sweet. And I should be able to pull that out, relock it, and that should be good. Actually, let's leave it unlocked because it still has two more items, doesn't it? <laughs> Do that, and uh, just see if it's keeping up here. See, so, yeah, it looks like it'll keep up okay, actually. I just want to see that one more slot get filled up there. I could lock that top one, I might as well get that locked. There we go. And the last item just needs to move in there, which I think is redstone. Can I move that? No, I'll just do it manually that I can lock it myself. And uh, sweet, this will work. And it actually seems like it's working okay. So we should be able to leave this. I think realistically, it'll just fill these drawers. And uh, I can't remember if these leak. Like, I know there was some, it might be this. I think maybe when it gets full, it starts dropping items in the world and you have to actually come and turn it off. Um, but I may be wrong. That might have been an old iteration of it, like 1.7. But uh, we'll see how that works out. Because we don't have massive storage right now. That's only going to uh, store about, what, 512 of each. Which is more enough for our needs. It could make upgrades too. But that is uh, auto sifting. That is awesome. So that is done. Wish this thing was as fast. <laughs> it's taking forever. But uh, I think I'm actually going to uh, in this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.